guys, this is Caleb with DSLRVideoShooter.com. Today I want to give you a studio update. Um, I've done lots of videos in the past and you can see links to those below this video on how I've lit various settings for the actual show that you're watching. And um, every couple of years or even shorter, something happens in my life where I need to switch it up a little bit and uh, I've shot in several different spaces. At the very beginning, I shot in my grandfather's basement when I was just getting started in 2010. Then I was shooting in an apartment that I was living out of and then when I got married to my wife when we moved downtown, I was shooting out of our condo there. And then I finally got an actual studio. I had an awesome 700 square foot space, really tall ceilings, and it was an amazing, uh, amazing place to film. And recently, some of you may have seen a few videos with uh, kind of a house setting. That's because we just bought a house. So those videos were filmed upstairs in our new place. And uh, now I'm set up in the basement. And this isn't, you know, a finished basement. This is a rather disgusting basement. Um, it could be worse, definitely. You know, I've, I've lived in houses with some pretty rough farmhouse basements. This one's a little more livable, and eventually I'll be converting it into a large studio with a separate editing suite. And I can't wait to show you guys that as that happens. That may take some time. But I wanted to show you what I have set up here and uh, maybe inspire some of you to, you know, take advantage of your basement space because, you know, while these are sometimes kind of damp and dark, they can work really well for studio. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on my camera here. And uh, here's the reverse from what you're seeing on the C100. I have got, uh, you know, the C100 over there, nothing special. And uh, I'm running an HDMI from there to my monitor here. Got the washer and dryer right there. So again, nothing spectacular. And uh, that's pretty much that side of the room. On this side of the room, I have a flex LED light, which I can't wait to review and show you guys more. I'm shooting that through a silk. That is on a stand and then a C stand for the silk. I'm sitting on a chair. This is just kind of a white Ikea chair. Eventually I'll be getting a stool. And the reason for that is the ceilings are kind of low right now. And there's a bunch of lights, duct work and everything hanging real low. I'm hoping I can get that pushed up into the joists eventually. That'll give me more space. I can be on a stool and have a little more flexibility with my lighting. Behind me, I have my gray background from the old studio in downtown Chicago, and then I have my Alzo 3000s. I'm using both of those now that I have the flex light for my key. Those are in the back with barn doors to kind of shape the light that you see behind me. So the beauty of this is everything is LED, so there's not a lot of power draw. All of this is going down to one squid and then going to an extension cord to the wall. So Great setup because there's not a lot of draw. I can feed it all into one outlet. It gives me a lot of flexibility. Long term, I'm looking forward to finishing this space and my goal is to have the backdrop instead of being on stands in a bar that'll be mounted to the ceiling or the back wall. And then I really am looking forward to eventually having um, actual 5 8 uh, studs up on the ceiling so I can have all my lighting and grip work working off of the ceiling and I don't have to have a thousand little stands here. I'd also love to have a flexible mic setup so I, instead of using a lav mic like I am now, I'll have a shotgun mic and um, be able to kind of move that around. Again, that'll be mounted on the ceiling, have outlets up there and uh, can't wait to show you guys all that. Have a separate room for editing and uh, voiceover work and stuff like that. We'll see how it goes. I don't know when all this is gonna actually happen um, but uh, I'll keep you guys updated as it slowly becomes a reality. And uh, thanks as always for watching and I look forward to continuing to pump out videos weekly or bi-weekly going forward right here from a home studio. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more tutorials and reviews on dslrvideoshooter.com.